Well, it is not always straightforward to recognize true labor, but it's important to know what to look for as your due date approaches. Some common signs include regular and increasingly frequent contractions, water breaking, which manifests as a gush of fluid, and loss of the mucus plug that seals the cervix. Pay attention to the signs, and if you think you may be going into labor, seek medical attention. So early labor marks the initial stage of childbirth, and it's characterized by three main features, cervical dilation, contraction, and the timing of these contractions. During this phase, the cervix will begin to efface or thin out and dilate. The contractions are typically mild and irregular at this stage. They last about 30 to 45 seconds and they come every five to 30 minutes. So the interval between the contractions is quite variable. This stage can last for many hours. If you have an uncomplicated pregnancy, you may spend most of early labor at home until the contractions increase in frequency and intensity. You can try to achieve some comfort by going for a walk, taking a shower or bath, listening to some relaxing music. You can try some breathing and relaxation techniques as the ones taught in childbirth class, or you can try changing positions. Your healthcare provider can guide you as to when it's time to leave for the hospital or childbirth center. You can call your healthcare provider if your water breaks or if you experience any significant vaginal bleeding at any point. So active labor is a stage where your contractions are stronger, they're lasting longer, and they come closer together. At this point, the contractions are occurring at least every five minutes and they never space out more than that. The dilation of the cervix is progressing as a response to those more effective contractions. In terms of duration, active labor lasts about four to eight hours, but this can vary quite significantly from one person to the other. You can seek support from your labor partner or your healthcare team, and you can employ breathing and relaxation techniques to get you some relief at this point. So changing position, sitting on a birthing ball, taking a warm shower, or having a gentle massage in between contractions can help provide some pain relief at this stage and an epidural anesthesia is also a great tool for pain control. The last part of active labor can be quite intense and painful, with the contraction lasting 60 to 90 seconds at this stage. If you feel the urge to push, inform your healthcare provider. They will guide you as to when it's time to start, as pushing too soon can lead to complications. The birthing stage also has distinct phases. The first phase is full dilation, when the cervix reaches 10 centimeters and is now completely open. The second phase involves pushing the baby through the birth canal. The duration of this phase can vary from minutes to hours, with first-time moms and women who've had an epidural usually taking a little bit longer. During this phase, you push under the guidance of your healthcare provider. The third phase is the delivery of the baby. So after the head comes, the body of the baby will follow. The baby's airway will be cleared if necessary and the umbilical cord is clamped after a short delay to ensure healthy development. The process is not over when the baby is born. The postpartum is a critical time for both mom and baby and it is crucial to get adequate medical care through this phase. Immediate care would include a quick checkup on the baby to make sure everything is okay and then skin-to-skin -skin contact with the mother. Then we have the delivery of the placenta and the natural contraction of the uterus, which will help control the bleeding. Some women may require additional medications and interventions to help control postpartum bleeding. The perineal area is examined and if tears are present, stitches may be required. Breastfeeding should be started as soon as possible, both for bonding and for nutrition of the newborn. Mother and baby will need close monitoring during the recovery process and they'll need a good support system as they initiate their journey together. You are probably not thinking about it at this point as there is so much going on with the arrival of your new baby, but it is important to discuss birth control options with your healthcare provider as your fertility may return at any point. Typically, sexual activity can be resumed when you feel comfortable and there is no definitive timeline for that. It may be a good idea to wait four to six weeks to allow for proper healing. And you can discuss this with your healthcare provider in the postpartum visit. 